Hello students! Welcome to our online class. This lesson is for grade 9 understanding, 9 humility, 9 perseverance, 9 persistent, and 9 creative. To start with our lesson, let's begin with a prayer. Let us put ourselves in the holy presence of the Lord, as we all say, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Father, we thank you for everyone gathered here now. We thank you that you know each one of us by name and have caused us to walk with you. We say that we are dependent on you and our trust is in you completely. As we surrender ourselves with adoration, we welcome you amongst us today and celebrate the gift of life that you lavish upon each one of us. We ask that you would open our ears so that we may hear your voice. Open our minds so that we may receive your eternal wisdom. Open our spirits, so that we may know your leading and guidance. And open our hearts, so that we may receive your wonderful love. Lord, we thank you for everyone who are present today. We pray that you would give us great inspiration as we share what you have placed in our hearts. We pray that you would fill us with courage and give us your peace. We pray that you will keep us safe and spare us from the threat of the virus. We ask all this in the glorious name of Jesus. Amen. In today's lesson, I'm going to discuss with you Lesson 2, Preparing a Variety of Salad and Dressing. When salad ingredients are assembled in a particular arrangement, the finished salad is called composed salad, also known as plated salad. They are often made up of more than simply greens. These salads are more popular as main courses, especially at lunch. And now, let us explore the different components of salads. The first component of salad is base. It gives the definition of salad's placement on the plate or plater. The base of salad is usually a layer of salad greens that line in the plate or bowl in which the salad will be served. The second component of salad is body. The main ingredient of the salad is the body. This should be the focal point of the presentation as it's set on the top of the base. The body is usually a protein like chicken, ham, or fish. Dressing is another component of salad. It is used to enhance the flavor, toast with the body of salad, or serve on the side. Any dressing that is compatible with the other ingredients may be used to add moisture and flavor to salad. I have here the example of the different liquid dressing. And lastly, for the components of salad is garnish. Garnish enhances the appearance of the salad while also complementing the overall taste. It is also adds the texture, color, and form to the salad. Factors to consider in salad preparation. Salad should be planned to contrast color, flavor, texture, and shape. Salads are more appealing and nutritious when there is a variety of ingredients. The first factor to consider in salad preparation is color. 
include ingredients of different color for eye appeal, different nutrients, and other healthful components. For example, in a toast green salad, shredded carrots, and red cabbage can be added to leaf lettuce and create colorful toast green salads by mixing ingredients. The second factor to consider in salad preparation is the flavor. To balance the strong and mild flavors, for example, a pre-plated salad could present mild butter, head lettuce with grapefruit sections and red onion rings. Another factor to consider in salad preparation is texture. Balance soft with crisp ingredients, juicy with crunchy, and fibrous with smooth. For example, a toast green salad could include romaine lettuce, sunflower seeds, raisins, and orange sections. Lastly, for the factor to consider in salad preparation is shape. Cut the ingredients in different shapes such as cubes, julienne or much thick shape or slices, shredded bits, and wedges. And now, let us explore the guidelines for arranging salads. The first one is, look at the plate or bowl as frame, pick the right size dish, and keep salad off the rim. I have here the example of the plate or bowl as your frame. The second guidance for arranging salads is, maintain good balance of color. Three colors are usually enough. The third one is, height makes the salad more attractive. Fourth, cut ingredients neatly and uniformly. And fifth, be sure that ingredients can be identified. And sixth, for the last guidelines for arranging salads, keep arrangement simple. Let us explore the guidelines for preparation of simple salad. The first one is, wash vegetables or fruits in cold water. Hold the root end plunging in water to force water to center, thus removing dirt and grit. Second, cut vegetables as per requirement. Cube thread, strips, and others. And third, keep in cool place until required. Refrigerate greens in a colander covered with damp towel or in perforated storage bin to allow air circulation and complete drainage. This helps to keep the green crisp. Fourth, when required, mix all ingredients with dressing. Lastly, for the guidelines for preparation of simple salad, serve neatly in china, glass, or wooden bowls. Garnish as required, serve dressing apart, and always keep cool. And now, let us explore the tools and equipment needed in the preparation of salad. Here are some great tools and equipment needed in the preparation of salad. The first one is balloon whisk. To achieve perfectly beaten egg whites or whipped cream, use a sturdy whisk. They come in many sizes for different jobs. But if you buy only one whisk, select a medium size one. Dry measuring cups is another great tool needed in the preparation of salad. Most accurate way to measure dry ingredients such as sugar, Powdered milk and flour is with nesting metal cups. Food processor. Select a sturdy processor that is large enough to handle the volume of ingredients in the recipes you use most often. Another great tools needed in the preparation of salad is garlic press. 
It is the fastest way to turn glove of garlic into small bits. Another great tool needed in the preparation of salad is liquid measuring cups. The most accurate way to measure liquid ingredients such as oil, vinegar, soy sauce, and water is with glass or pyrex measuring cup with a pouring spout. Another great tools and equipment needed in the preparation of salad is preparation sink. It is separate two compartment sink which is recommended to clean and prepare fresh product. Food waste disposer or garbage can. It is a device, usually electrically powered, installed under a kitchen sink between the sink's drain and trap, which shred food waste into pieces. Rich in refrigerator or walk-in cooler. This is a good for holding large boxes of produce, buckets of food, blocks of cheese, and anything else that is large, blocky, and perishable. Work tables is another tools and equipment needed in the preparation of salad. It should be smooth, preferably stainless steel, and with polished edges to shadow on the work table. Lighting should not alter the color of food. Chopper and cutter is another tool and equipment needed in the preparation of salad. It is double handle and crescent shape. Used with a rocking motion to rapidly chop and dice food. Knives. These are cutting tools with a cutting edge, handheld or otherwise, with or without a handle. Electric or hand peeler. It is a kitchen tool used for removing the skin of fruit and vegetable. I have here the example of electric peeler. And the other one is the hand peeler. Another tools and equipment needed in the preparation of salad is cutting boards. It is a color coded for specific uses. Another tools and equipment needed in the preparation of salad is thermometer. It is used to ensure that cooked food is held at safe temperature until served. And lastly, for the tools and equipment needed in the preparation of salad is Disposable plastic gloves It is used during salad preparation And now let us explore the salad ingredients In order for you to make the perfect salad, you need to know something about the kinds of ingredients that you can use A large number of salads will be made using a combination of different ingredients that not only complement one and the other but provide different tastes and textures as well. Below are the different types of salad ingredients that are used over the world to make a very simple and basic but very nutritious salad. The first salad ingredient is lettuce and green leaf plants. Often the most common variety of lettuce that people use to make a salad quickly is the iceberg variety but there are plenty of others you may want to try which will add a completely different taste and texture to your salad for instance why not try a butter head of lettuce which is very tender tasting one or the lettuce whose leaves are more coarser in texture for something a little more exotic and to provide a more eastern feel to the salad include some bok choy which has a slightly bitter taste to it the second salad ingredient is fruits and vegetables. Here are some common fruits and vegetables salad ingredients.
And now let us explore salad dressing. A salad dressing should enhance the flavor of the salad. Many different ingredients can be used to make dressings. However, dressings fit into one of the three basic types. Simple vinaigrette, mayonnaise, or emulsified dressing. The first salad dressing is vinaigrette. It is also known as French dressing. Traditional vinaigrette is a combination of vinegar and oil and seasonings. These ingredients are mixed together vigorously just before use. Vinaigrette also accentuates flavors and gives moisture to a salad. The recommended proportion of basic vinaigrette are three parts of oil to one part of vinegar. The second salad dressing is emulsified dressing. When simple vinaigrette is shaken or whipped, the oil and vinegar mix together in microscopic droplets, creating an emulsion. An emulsion is a mixture of two liquids that do not naturally mix such as oil and vinegar. In an emulsion, tiny droplets of one ingredient are suspended in the other. Simple vinaigrette soon separates back to oil and vinegar because it is temporary emulsion. The culinary solution to prevent oil and vinegar from separating is to stabilize the emulsion with egg or egg yolks. And finally, for the types of salad dressing is mayonnaise. It is a cold sauce that is an emulsion of oil and vinegar stabilized with egg yolk and mustard. To make mayonnaise, oil is formed into tiny droplets and gradually adding it by the other ingredients while whipping. These tiny droplets are suspended in the water contained in the vinegar and egg. Proteins found in the egg yolks. Keep these droplets of oil and water from separating. Mustard is another ingredient commonly used in mayonnaise and emulsified dressing. Compounds found in mustard also help prevent an emulsion from breaking or separating. Mayonnaise is an important item in the cold kitchen because it is often used as base in creating dressing or cold sauces. The quality of this preparation relies on the quality of the mayonnaise. I have here the simple way on how to make mayonnaise at home. First, whisk egg yolk in a glass bowl until smooth and creamy. Second, add a few drops of vinegar or lemon juice. Third, dash in a few drops of vegetable or canola oil. And fourth, Whisk vigorously until mixture is creamy and fully blended. And finally, flavor with lemon juice and kosher salt. And now, let us explore the ingredients for salad dressing. All dressings include oil, vinegar, and often mustard in their list of ingredients. However, each of these ingredients can be derived from a variety of different sources or methods of preparation. Each source of methods lends a unique flavor or texture to the ingredients. The first ingredients for salad dressing is oils. Oil is an excellent carrier for the flavors of other ingredients in the dressing or contributes its own flavor. The second ingredients for salad dressing is vinegar. Vinegar was originally made from fermented barley juice, wine, or apple cider. I have here the different types of vinegar. Mustard is another ingredient for salad dressing. It adds a sharp flavor which helps counter the richness of the oil and vinaigrette. And now let us discuss the presentation of salad. A well-presented salad will have the following characteristics. It will have shine. It will have lots of color. It will have height before width. It should be appealing to the eyes. And textural diversity adds to the eating experience. When presenting the salad, a certain points are needed to be considered. Here are some types of services. Here are some types of services when presenting the salad. Formal. It is served in a restaurant as side dish to the main meal. Casual is another type of services when presenting the salad. Serve as part of the buffet. Another type of services when presenting the salad is modern. 
It is served in a cafe as a meal that will stand alone. And lastly, for the types of services when presenting the salad is stand up or sit down. Some salads are now being served in a wrap type of sandwich. That would be all from this topic. I hope you learn a lot. Thank you and keep safe.